recording again and go. All right, so my name is Gareth. You're watching the Hub Online Network. We are joined by Ashcroft's newest doctor. Um, let's let him introduce himself now. Oh, I'm Steven Akinkomi. Now, you've been uh, in Ashcroft since March? Yes, I joined the process March 16th this year. And that's just before, like, like right at the time that COVID-19 happened. Correct. Um, so what's it like having, coming, you know, having come to it, this you know, new town, I'm assuming for yourself, uh, in the midst of a pandemic? Oh, it's not been palatable because, um, you know, our people here, they've not really got to know, know me. So as a result, I've not really been seeing many patients. So it's not really been up to expectation. But I can understand it's because of the COVID. So they've not really known me as a person. Um, right now, without naming names, of course, how many patients in Ashcroft approximately do you have? Well, on the average in a day, let's say sometimes between six and 15, okay. which is not correct, which is not right. Um, on, a, on a full day, what is, if you were here for a full day and you had all the patients that could come in, how many would that typically be then? Oh yeah, between 35 and 40. Wow. Yes. Uh, and, and so you, what you're looking for are people to sign up with your particular practice, right? Oh yes, that's exactly what I'm, what I'm saying. Um, so, uh, uh, why do you think that that's a, a thing? Is it just people aren't coming in uh, because of COVID or? Yes, because of the lockdown, because of the stay at home. And uh, we actually encourage our patients to stay at home for now because we don't want them you know, to, you know, to be susceptible to the present pandemic. So we actually encourage that. And that's why we do more of telemedicine for now. And because they, are, they don't know me yet, so it's, it's difficult for them to assess me for now. Um, are the other, I don't know how many doctors we have right now at the clinic, but do the, are the other doctors having a similar problem or? Well, it's slightly better because they've been there for some time, so they are known by those, those uh, patients, so they easily call them from home. Right. Well, uh, well why don't we give people an opportunity to get to know you a little bit better? Um, where are you from? So, where are you from? And uh, you know, what kind of where, where did you get your education? That kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm actually from Ontario. I've been in Ontario for over five years. But originally, I came from Nigeria. I had my first degree education in Nigeria as if a, as a medical doctor. I proceeded for my postgraduates, and I specialize in the area of obstetrics after which I did some other postgraduate training in family medicine. So I practiced both obstetrics, which is women heads, and also adult medicine with uh, children. Wow. Um, so what, just because I'm, I don't know, uh, when you come from Nigeria to Canada, is there a, another set of courses that you have to take? Like, is, is there a Canadian version of, of medicine that you have to... That's a, that's a very good uh, question. For every doctor that comes to Canada, you must be Canada certified. Okay. That means you must write the same exam like the Canadian trained doctors. So we, we, I wrote the exams and I passed the exam. I went for interview, I passed the interview, and that's why they allow me, they give me license to practice medicine in, in Canada. Awesome. Um, was, was it a hard test? Well, I wouldn't call it a hard test because uh, it's the usual practice everywhere. It's, we are still dealing with the same human. It's just the, the slight difference in, the ter in terms of uh, management, in terms of approach. Right. Otherwise, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's the same. Um, when you lived in Ontario, what, did you have your, your own practice there or did you work in the hospitals or, or what was your situation? When I was in Ontario, I was not licensed. So I practiced under a family physician that has a license. So I was more or less like a locum. Okay. So I got my license in BC. Oh, oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And, and so did, how long have you been in BC then? Just about three months, March. Oh, oh okay. Oh, in BC, sorry, I mean in uh, Ashcroft. I've been in BC for almost uh, eight months because I did my, what we call, clinical field assessment in 100 mile hours. I did that between October and January. Okay. 
Um, so now you're here and you, you're saying that you don't have very many clients yet. Uh, my understanding is in Ashcroft there is room for people to, or, or there's enough people to, um, that aren't signed up to come and sign up. But if you're not being utilized in Ashcroft, what are you doing? For, because I've been underutilized there, currently I have been assigned for this month to work in Lillooet. So currently I shuttle between Lillooet and uh, Ashcroft. I actually come to Ashcroft once in a week. For instance, today I'm in Ashcroft. Yesterday I did my call in Lillooet. Two days ago I did my call in Lillooet. And uh, it's been a nice, you know, uh, it's been a nice experience. But as from the end of the month, as from the end of this month, I'm going to be fully on ground in Ashcroft. You know, what actually baffles me is that when I look at the, some patients that are unassigned, I felt somehow that, why are these patients? Sometimes I get information from my colleagues that some of them, they had to travel all the way to Vancouver to look for family physician. I was told that some of them felt that it's because the doctor kept changing here. The reason why that is so, I cannot really explain. But as far as I'm, com I'm, I'm concerned, I don't have any intention to leave Ashko because I actually propose to come here oh, nice. because I enjoy you know, working with rural people. Right. Oh, yeah. that's very cool. That, that doesn't seem to be the um, attitude of a lot of uh, doctors when they do come. So that's, uh, that's very refreshing to hear you say that. Yeah, because I have my training in an urban center, but I also had some training in rural environment. So comparing both together, I think I prefer to work with, I don't want to use people, I don't want to use the word people that they don't have, you know, much opportunity, you know, for good health care. And that's my concern. Um, so how can people have, sign up as, or sign up under you to be their doctor? What they simply need to do is to call the clinic and tell them that they want to register under me. I understand from some patients that finally able to go to me that they've been having challenge getting to clinic. And uh, the, some of them will complain that uh, they call several times, nobody to pick the call. Uh, this I try to find out why and I discover that it is, they are actually saying the truth. But if the fault is not from the hospital, rather I would say it depends, we need to ap apply some wisdom here. Some patient will call the hospital, when you call the hospital, you talk to the, to the receptionist, that's the front desk. The essence of calling them is to link you to your doctor. But some of our people will call them spending 20, 30 minutes discussing about the lab results, about the investigation. That's not the job of the front desk. They are not, they are not trained to do that. Right. All they need to do is that, please, can you link me up to my doctor? By doing that, you give opportunity for other people, you know, to have the same access. Hmm. I, um, in, in my own personal experience, every time I've ever phoned, it has been an appointment set up with my doctor. So that's an interesting uh, thing that's happening with uh, people that might become your patients. Um, have you been part of the uh, ER experience um, in Ashcroft? No, I have not, but I do that in Lillooet. Okay. Um, is there, I, I guess there's no, at this time, room for you to be part of that section? It, no, I have not. I have not been privileged to start the ER section in uh, Ashcroft, but hopefully, I'm hoping be, be, by the end of the month, things should change. Do you know if Ashcroft uh, Family Medical Practice is at some point in the near future starting to relax COVID rules and people can start coming into the building opposed to just talking over the phone? Oh, really? We have actually started that. There are, okay. there, are, there are measures in place to ensure the safety of our staff and also of the patients, you know, in such a way that they can start coming in. For instance, today I saw about 10 patients, I mean, coming to the clinic. So we have measures in place to ensure that the social distance is still there and uh, nevertheless they are properly assessed by, doc, by, the, by the physician. Do you think that there's people in Ashcroft and Cash Creek and the surrounding area that might take advantage of the Ashcroft Medical Center? Um, 
if they're not, and let's say that these people aren't going to Vancouver, do you feel that uh, people aren't getting sick because they're not going out due to COVID, or they're uh, just afraid to go in, or um, people are just getting hurt less in general? Well, it's difficult for me to say, but rather what I will simply say is that unlike before that maybe someone, somebody has a fever and you want to come and you know, see his doctor, now most times they want to make sure there is something serious that needs them to be seen by a doctor because nobody wants to be infected with the pandemic. So as a result, people now try to rationalize. Is, does it really worth it to go to the hospital? Or is it, not be is it better for me to still stay, stay at home and give a call? Right. Interesting. Um, do you have any uh, last things that you would like to say about this? Uh, or, or any questions I might not be asking? Well, what I just want to let people, uh, our people know is that uh, the fear of doctor living should not come in. Some of us, we propose in our heart before we even join the practice eh, that this is what we want to do. I have other opportunities elsewhere when I chose Ashcroft. And I chose Ashcroft not only because I want to serve the people, I mean, of the locals, also because of my experience. I've been practicing medicine for over 17 years. I also have, as I told you, I, had, I did my residency training in obstetrics. So sometimes I understand that our women, pregnant women, go all the way to Kamloops, Vancouver to go and deliver. I mean, I see that as, you know, unnecessary pain. You know, going to Vancouver for you to see a doctor, was it about two weeks ago, I, I went to Vancouver with my family. Even though I drove a new car, when I got there, I got extremely tired. So imagine I just went there just to for fun, how much more is sick patient going all the way to Vancouver? I just, I can only imagine how they feel before, when they even get there, to, before they assess, you know, the desire, the, you know, um, the desire, the um, uh, consultation. Right. It's uh, interesting times, but we are going to try and make sure that we get a push for local people to stay local. Um, and and you, I know you said earlier, but what uh, things do you specialize in? Through, through your uh, previous medical training? As I said earlier, I am a family physician. I enjoy emergencies. But in addition to other family physicians, I also specialize in obstetrics. So I, I, I do, you know, back home, I do, I do cesarean section and some other forms of surgeries. Do that, I have not been given the license here, here in, in BC, but we are working towards that. Right. But for women that are pregnant, for reproductive for health, people that need uh, contraceptives, these are things that you can easily assess in this area. This is what we do regularly. Where today I still did a pap smear for one of my patients here in Ashcroft. Um, so what are, I suppose there's no real way for, you know, advice for people just to start talking to you. Um, so I guess that's not a very good question off the top of my mind here. But really, I, I think that that's, uh, that's it, unless there's anything else you'd like to say, other than let's, let's stay local, keep our doctors going, um, and because we don't want, to, of course, we don't want you to, to go anywhere anytime soon. We'd like for you to stay. So, and we, we want you over a little wet, that's for sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, well, so thank I, you very much for your time today. Is there, is there anything else you would like to say? Nothing. Just to let our people know that we have a new doctor here that is ready to serve. And I don't have any intention to leave. I have my family here. Awesome. So there's no, there's no reason for me to, to leave as much as I see my patients. Unless, as I told you, I, I mean, not little right now because I'm underutilized. So I had to, you know, the doctor, courtesy Dr. Omba, I had to say maybe I should come and work in emergency and the clinic in Lillooet because I'm being underutilized in that. Um, and I guess last question for me here. Um, how, do you feel that telehealth is a viable uh, thing for our area for the future moving forward? Or, or do you feel that we should start getting back to more uh, patients seeing the doctor face to face? 
Oh, telehealth has, has its place, and office visit also have their place. There are some management that you can do over the phone that you don't need to see your doctor. And there are some that you just have to. You know, for instance, a patient, you know, sometimes it goes about three or four weeks ago, came and said he's having a abdominal pain. This patient is with a non, is a peptic ulcer patient. So initially I said, where? She told me where. So I just assumed it's an exacerbation of that pain. So I just gave her medication for that uh, ulcer. But after some time, she came to the emergency. Lo and behold, my own colleagues here in, in uh, Ashcroft pick a mask there. There is no way I will have felt a mask by telehealth. But on examination, he was able to pick a mask. Right. And right there and there, he sent the patient for a CT scan. And before we know it, this patient actually has a malignancy. You know, he's been operated now. Wow. So there are, there are, there's a place for telehealth, there's a place for obvious physics. There are some things that you need to see, you need to examine before you can make the rightful diagnosis. Well, that's it for me. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. Um, and we'll try and get the word out to make sure that you start getting uh, as many clients and uh, patients as you can here in Ashcroft. And uh, yeah, good luck to you in the future. And hopefully we can talk with you again. Thank you very much. Nice being here.